Let's make some lemon ginger marmalade. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. My mother had a very sweet friend from Southern California send her lemons and they are on the brink of being past their prime and apparently she's sending her more so I get the I, I get the I get these so they have to be used today and what am I going to make this is all I have um, so I went through my books and I found the recipes that we love the most I also I also have the ones I got for 47 cents at the grocery store um, I have six of those so these are going to be made for lemon curd and I have just enough of the lemons that were sent to us to make lemon ginger marmalade. So let's make some lemon ginger marmalade. It is amazing, literally amazing. We're gonna be working out of this book for the lemon ginger marmalade. It's the Put em Up Fruit Book. Um, I will link to it. I'm actually preparing an Amazon store where I am putting all of the books and all of the products that I use. For, so you guys can see exactly what I use, but this is this this not there yet not there yet getting getting my lemons So hold on. This is a multiple day project oh, Slicing lemons, okay, we have them sliced and boiled and resting for tomorrow. We shall continue tomorrow it's day two. It's time to get this on the burner. We're going to measure it. We're going to add cup per cup of liquid to sugar, and we're going to get our canning water started to get the jars warmed up. Let's get going. It says I'm supposed to have four cups of liquid. I have six. Just going with it. Wants me to add the garlic. I wanted to show you how I preserve my garlic. I buy garlic in big, huge bags, and then I take it home, and I sit down, put on some YouTube, and skin it and chop it all up and I store it like this in the freezer. Oh, it's awesome. So I'm just going to add a chunk in, a big chunk. <laughs> so I'm slowly defrosting the ginger and then I'm going to be bringing it up to a boil and boiling it until it reaches gel stage and then we are going to can it. Quarter inch headspace. I got six jars and a partial one that's going in the fridge. There you go. Happy canning people. I'll come back later when we clean them up. And yes, I'm in the same clothes I wore, wore yesterday. Just go with it. Guess what time it is. It's time to talk about the figures. When we canned up the lemon mar lemon ginger marmalade. Let's get going. I'm gonna get the water hot and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna check. They've all sealed. We're gonna release and do the second check. One, two, that's good. Remember, this is how, even though they said they were sealed, we have found some not sealed by doing this. Make sure you're doing this. Also, we wash to get rid of all of the gunk. Okay, now that we know that we've, they've all sealed, let's start washing them and talking. So this whole entire batch of lemon ginger marmalade cost $2.33 for me to make. $2.33. Why? Because my mother gave me a whole bunch of lemons that a friend had sent her. Love friends that send lemons. Love it. Uh, so I looked up a store bought 12.75 ounce jar goes for $8.99 and you have to mail order that and that's not including the shipping. So that is 70 cents an ounce for store bought. Times that by eight ounces that would be $5.61 for this jar right here, if it was store-bought. So $5.61, I got six jars, that would be $33.66 per batch. I only paid $2.33 for the whole entire batch. That means I got a $31.33 savings in this whole batch. It's delicious stuff too. So that would be enough to pay for a canner, right? And it is amazing, and it'll stay on the shelf for years if I wanted it to. I could mix it in yogurt, I could use it to bake chicken, glaze over it. There's all kinds, stir fried rices, veggies, all kinds of things that you can do with this stuff. It is amazing. So, $31.33 savings. Yeah, I'm sold. I think I'll make it again if somebody ever gives me lemons.
We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Remember, label and wash your jars. Why do we wash the jars? To get the gunk. There is some sticky stuff on the outside of these things, even though they've been in the water. If you have any sugar that remains on the outside of the jar that you didn't, like if it dripped, that whole sticky part of that sugar, the little tiny drop, goes on all of your jars when it's in the water. So it's just best not to attract the bugs. Talk to you guys later. Now you know what I know. Bye. Bye. For those that are interested, it was the Put em Up Fruit Book that that lemon ginger marmalade recipe was in. And this is by Sherry Brooks Vinton. Sherry Brooks Vinton, you did an amazing job on this book. Talk to you guys later. Oh, it's also in my Amazon site, which is an affiliate link that's in my links. If yes, so choose you want to look at it. There you go. Oh.